So uh, Pulse of Pup is a short animated stop motion film. So stop motion is uh, a form of animation done with puppets um, where you move them frame by frame. And it's a story of two unlikely friends coming together, a polar bear and a grizzly meeting in a mel melting Arctic. So the idea came or was inspired by an article that we both read, actually, mm -hmm. um, which was a, uh, it was, it described a helicopter going over a white Arctic landscape mm -hmm. with a little brown figure moving across it, which was a grizzly bear. And it was uh, a, a discussion about how the Arctic is melting and it means that grizzlies and polar bears are being brought together. And in fact, they're producing hybrids, uh, hybrid bears. Um, and uh, we were looking for a story which was about two characters, um, so that it was achievable. And this felt like uh, a really interesting story about very different characters being thrown together by circumstance. So uh, we started working all the way from the conception to the to the writing. So Paloma would do the writing, and I would read her script and give some feedback, and we'd go back and forth this way. It was about fifteen months. The, uh, from conception all the way to the completion of the edit and the grading. And the shoot itself took about 29 weeks. Yeah. Yeah, animation is <laughs> very slow. Yeah, it's a very long <laughs> process. Yeah, we will shoot about four to five seconds every day. For, um, and Paloma is really hardworking, so she will work <laughs> five days a week, and like, full, five full days a week. And on sometimes, um, sometimes the because of the temperature change in the studio, she has to work seventy two hours straight. <laughs> so Paloma and another animator would take turns to do the shots. Yeah, there was there were a couple of the longer the shot, the harder it is to walk away because as soon as you walk away, and the lights and you switch the lights off, the heat changes and everything moves slightly. In an animation, you have to keep well in stop motion, you have to keep everything completely steady so yes we'd have to do it in shift for those long shots i'd sleep for a few hours and then my fellow animator would take over and we do we do shift work until the shot was finished yeah it was a lot of coordination because um it's, it's a really long shoot schedule and our cinematographers and production designers they have other things other projects going on at the same time so we need to uh, really organize everybody's timings for example um, if one week we suddenly have a we have a, we plan for a light change so we scheduled the cinematographer to come in but during the shoot itself maybe something else comes up and we need the cinematographer and he's not around so uh, there's a lot of um, logistical issues to deal with which is where Seren is <laughs> incredible logistics <laughs> and schedules yeah. I couldn't have had a better woman <laughs> by my side. She was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. She's also really hardworking. So. <laughs> the, one of the biggest supports was from the puppet makers, McKinnon and Saunders, because they are the best puppet makers in the world, and they happen to be here in Manchester in the UK. And uh, we could never have afforded those puppets if they hadn't endorsed us and, and helped us. Um, and we, Seren and I drove to Manchester, uh, showed them the animatic, which is a moving storyboard with drawings. Um, and we thought they'd give us some advice, but long story short, they ended up making the puppets for us and they've created these incredible furry bears. Um, they made the puppets for Fantastic Mr. Fox, which is one of my favorite stop motion films. And so they, so I knew they had this very particular aesthetic and they've really brought that to those bears and they are our actors really I mean apart from the voices which is our other yeah. big endorsement where our our actors who made the voices for mm. for the bears and Helena Bonham Carter was the polar bear and <coughs> she gave her time for virtually nothing well mm. nothing yeah. and um <laughs> and Joseph May who's also a brilliant comic actor so those two were just really yeah. crucial, important yeah. to really elevating what we could have yeah. done. Yeah, so we did two days of recordings with them. Once when we had the animatic before the production, and when we had finished the animation, we got them back in again to do the recording. To do yeah. some ADR to correct yeah. things, and they were very generous. Yes. Um, it's been a really incredible year for the film. Mm. We we won at the first huge moment was winning mm. Um, mm. the McLaren Award at, at Edinburgh. Yeah, yes. the Edinburgh Film Festival um, against some really incredible animations mm. and that was really proud. Yeah. 
a BAFTA nomination was really, we were punching the air. <laughs> it's amazing to be nominated. Yes. And then we just won an Annie yeah, Award, you know, which you know, is a big animation award in, in America. So that, that was really great. Yes. I would say my big note is just remember, and I think people do forget, remember filmmaking is a collaboration. Just, I don't know how people do forget that, but if you listen to your team and work together, you will achieve so much more. It's really important for the team to remember that animation is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So it's very important to do a lot of preparation and work closely with everyone in the team, the director uh, and the editor, the cinematographer, to achieve the results that you want.